What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today you guessed that we are gonna be working on the Trans Am again and uh, well, I'm having a little bit of issue with starting the car. So randomly it will uh, have trouble starting and I think it's probably a fuel pump going out on me which I'll replace down the road but right now I'm gonna start with a fuel filter. I don't know when the fuel filter's been changed or if it ever even has been changed on this car. So decided to pick one up. The part we're gonna be using is a Wix 33311. I will list that in the descriptions down below of course like always. But I'm um, sorry the car's so dirty. You saw it at the track. I haven't had a chance to clean it since then, but we're gonna crawl under this thing. I've already got it off the back, or sorry, the back off the ground. Uh, you need a pretty good amount of uh, room underneath it. Of course, I could be using my lift, but it is raining outside and I don't wanna pull everything outside and get it all wet. So we're gonna be doing it on the garage floor. So let's crawl under this thing and see what we need to do. All right, guys, I kinda lied to you. We're gonna be up here first. Um, we're gonna take the battery loose. So I'm just gonna take the negative terminal off the battery. Eight millimeters all you need for that. And then we're going to bleed off what fuel is in the line. So just to keep from getting all that fuel, uh, we're going to unscrew this cap here. And I'm gonna get some shop towels and we're gonna push this Schrader valve in in order to let some of the pressure off the system. under the hood now we're going to roll under the car right underneath the driver's side door at the very back of the driver's side door under the car is the filter itself so in order to take it off I'm going to use a 20 millimeter on the stationary nut that is on the actual filter and a 16 millimeter to get the threaded end out now once you take this loose gas is going to spill out so make sure you're not underneath it and once we get those two loose then we will go ahead and take the clip out with a pair of pliers it's relatively easy to get that one out we will slide the old one out of the way. the old one out so um, get it out of the way and we're gonna thread the new one back in and push the tab back on Now once you have the new one in, I went ahead and thread this in as you can see in the last clip, but you want to make sure that you're not cross threaded before you go to tighten this up. So make sure that it threads in easily and then we're going to go ahead and tighten it up. Once you've hooked everything up underneath and tightened everything up, go ahead and put your cap back on, which I did earlier, and hook your battery back up. Now go ahead and hop in the car, and we're gonna cycle the key a couple times to try to build some pressure. Don't just try to start it. You'll hear the fuel pump run, and so that's what we're wanting to do. Cycle it a couple times. 
to get pressure back up there. And it'll take a little bit to start. It's probably hard to hear me, but right now we're gonna check to make sure while it's running if there's any leaks before we set it back down on the ground. Okay guys, no leaks, which is really exciting. I kind of feel like I sound like a diaper commercial when I say something like no leaks. Anyway, that's a good thing to have when you're talking about fuel. I did test the pressure on this thing before I changed the filter and it was testing out about 58 PSI, which is good and normal range for an LS1. So uh, I'm pretty sure that it's the pump, like I said, just getting weak and uh, just doesn't happen all the time. It could even be a vapor lock issue, but uh, that either way, that filter needed to be changed. The factory one was still on it. So um, it's good to get that out of the way. But hopefully you like this video, guys. If you do, please smash that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, please go down and subscribe because we got tons of other stuff on this car and all the other stuff that I'm working on. While you're down there, subscribe and hit the bell icon. That way you know every time I drop a new video. And of course, stay tuned. See what we do next.